Now, now the other day, mm. there's a woman who said, mm. I cannot give my daughter for a hand in marriage to a poor man. Did you see that? I saw it and watched it a number of times. Mm. This is not just a lady. Yes. This is a very mature lady and a very influential lady because she's a, a radio presenter. Mm -hmm. And she was speaking this on live television, yes. national TV. Yes. She said that I cannot allow my daughter to get married to a poor man. Now, when someone says that, uh -huh. you know, the word poor is a blanket statement. Yes. That could mean a number of things because there are so many aspects of poverty. Mm -hmm. There is intellectual poverty when someone's mind is not working well. There is, you know, moral poverty when someone is... Yes, when, and so on and so forth. Yes. When someone's morals uh, have a lot of dents. Yes. But she specified yes. financial poverty. Yes. That if you're not rich, yes. then her daughter should not form part of her vocabulary. First of all, how do you verify riches? How do you prove? To what point, what extent... What is the border between poverty and riches? Now, to her, uh, you know, this thing depends on the individual, but uh, the way she was speaking, she yes. means someone that is, that is, I mean, uh, someone that is, uh, you know, uh, how do you say, conspicuously wealthy it's that you a, can't ignore. <laughs> conspicuously wealthy. Yes. I'll get in that. Yes. But, and, you know. Uh, and, and in the whole of East Africa, such kind of people are seven. <laughs> Now, yes. this lady to me, she was... Museven is one of them. Museven is one of them. <laughs> to me, this lady yes. was very myopic in yes. her thinking. Yes. Because number one, if you are saying that you can't allow your daughter to get married to a rich man, you are trying to, to tell woman. us, I mean to a poor man, you are trying yes. to tell us that you participate in making decisions for your daughter. Yes. You have to decide for her. Yes. Now... You are trying to tell us that your daughter is not mature enough to make judgments on, on her own. You have to help her in deciding who to get married to. Yes. Second, that you are ruling your daughter. Yes. She can't decide on her own. You have to, she has to come to you to filter who gets married to her. Yes. Let me ask you something. Mm -hmm. Why, why? A wealthy person mm -hmm. in that manner mm -hmm. that will get married to her daughter, meaning this must be an old person, two or four. That's very true. Hmm? Number one, true. Unless hmm? you are a con man, hmm. unless you are a con or man, your, or your father left you serious properties. Serious properties. But if you are in your twenties, hmm. you are barely building yourself. Barely building yourself. Meaning, this lady, hmm. uh, I mean, trampled on other factors apart from money. Okay, you can be financially rich, yes. morally rotten, I don't care. Yes. So long as you have money, get, get married to my daughter. Yes. You can be the you, you can be as old as maybe even the, the, the age of the grandfather. I yes. don't care. So long as you have money, marry my daughter. Yes. It does not matter whether you love my daughter and or so on and so forth. You can use you can use as anything. Yes. Go ahead and, and marry my daughter. Yes. I mean, meaning a very professional thief. Yes. Marry her. You have millions in your account. A witch doctor who is rich. <laughs> <laughs> but now, <laughs> do you think women or other mothers should have a say on who their daughters get married? Now, parents can advise their yes. daughters yes. on uh, fundamental things to consider in a man that gets, ma gets married to them. Yes. So it's upon them not to make up their mind because it reaches a point you yes. can't advise them anymore. And let me tell you something. Yes. Matters involving emotions, yes. the farthest you can do is to give an advice. In yes. fact, give it before they reach that stage. Yes. Advise them as they are coming up so yes. that when, they, when a time reaches that they're making such kind of a, a decision, they already know the kind yes. of things to consider. Yes. Because don't forget that emotions yes. are 24 times stronger than logic. Yes, that's Meaning true. where emotion is involved, where yes. a competition between emotion and logic, yes. emotions will win. Yes. And love is the, one of the strongest emotions. Yes. So when, because your daughter will not tell you when they're falling in love. Yes. They will tell you when they're already a problem. in love. Yes. I'll get, I'll get in that. Yes. So you can only advise, advise them in yes. prior before they enter into love. Yes. Once they're already in love, mm -hmm. there's very little you can do. Now, your daughter has just been cheated on. Someone yeah. has cheated on your daughter. Yes. Your daughter comes home crying. Yes. What are you going to tell your daughter? Are you going to tell your daughter to leave that person? Uh, well, there are a number of things to, to be considered. Mm -hmm. 
uh, it happened it probably it has happened for the first time yes you need to consider a number of things in place yes. because also there is also room for forgiveness yes and uh, as much as you've married someone you have not married an angel yes uh mistakes are there yes. so let us analyze a few factors yes. if is someone if that is his habit yes. then you don't need to live with such a person yes because number one this person will touch you emotionally you don't have peace yes. second to that this person can procure diseases from outside and bring to the house yes yes so if this is a habit that has been consistent for a while yes. then you can advise your daughter to probably consider another option because that is wrong that that is detrimental it's like someone i don't you are today is telling you something is killing me yes. and you're telling her to persevere because what i've realized yes. with more situation yes. is that any time you are actually warning someone against something yes. you actually validating them it is true it is, now for example in such a situation yes the more you oppose yes. their relationship yes. the more you yell them together yes because you are you are raising their curiosity yes what is it that they don't want us to know yes. now let us discover it yes i mean and you know some people can do certain things not because they want but because they want to prove you wrong yes <laughs> <laughs> how is <about> that <laughs> Not because they want, yes. but you are proving to prove a point. They, they, you are proving tough, so they want to prove you wrong that they can, they, they, they have their own power to get decision. For example, mm -hmm. if you have been too tough yes. on your children as they are growing up, yes, you are the kind of parent that enters and children scatter into different places yes. to hide yes. because a terrorist has just arrived. Yes. Then a time will come yes. when they have the power to make decision on themselves. Yes. They'll prove you wrong that dad, it is our time now to tell you that you you don't have that power forever. We and, now have it. And that is why most children yes who grew up under strict supervision yes grow up to be one of very crooked you human know, beings. Yes, you know, when you talk of strict supervision, mm -hmm. how you implement that supervision also matters. Yes. If you implement it like a terrorist, like a dictator, yes. then it can work against you yes. as they age, as yes. they grow up. Yes. But there's a way you can be strict, yes. but you also take time to understand them. Yes. They will also understand you. Yes. You take time to talk to them. You take time to understand their perspective. That's yes. fantastic. But if you're iron faced, when you enter, someone would think you, I mean, your face is wrinkled. You're angry in advance, even yes. before they make a mistake. Yes. Forget you're losing them. I can tell you for free.